Good afternoon, uh, it's Brother Anthony again. Uh, it's May 21st, 2019. Just sharing this word with you. Um, be patient, I'm not a very good preacher. I'm not a very good speaker. But what I do have is, uh, I have some revised Bible studies that I wrote when I was incarcerated. And uh, I'm sharing them with you. Heavenly Father, I pray that you give me the words to speak, that you uh, just continue to be a light into my path. I pray that I will not lead anybody in the wrong way, but that I can speak words of wisdom. The words that you have given to me that I have put down on paper, Father God, I pray that they are words from you and that they line up with your word. Father, I love you. I thank you for my life. I thank you for forgiving my sins. And for blessing me with a Savior that I can talk to on a daily basis. Lord, I love you and I praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Today's study is called Trusting in the Lord. Trusting in the Lord. The English definition of the Hebrew word batak means to trust, be confident, to put confidence or hope to trust in. Proverbs 3, 5 and 6 reads, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. So many people in our society today tend to only seek after God when times are bad, only calling to him when situations seem hopeless and unmanageable. But to truly have happiness in this life, we need to learn to trust in God alone. Today's scripture, broken down, reads, Trust in the Lord. He says, lean on Him. Rely on Him. Run to Him. Seek Him. Talk to Him. Be confident in Him alone. With all your heart. Love Him with your whole being. Don't just love Him, but fall in love with Him. And lean not on your own understanding. Stop trusting in your own way of doing things. How many times we get caught up in doing our own, our own will or, or things our own way. Proverbs 14.12 reminds us that there is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way of death. So stop doing things your way and learn to do things his way. But in all your ways acknowledge him. Acknowledge Him. Tell Him you trust Him. You love Him. You adore Him. You yearn for Him. Tell Him how great He is. And He will direct your paths. Doors will be opened. Wrongs will be made right. Feats will be overcome. Addictions will be defeated. And victories will be won. God wants you to know that no matter where you are at in life, He is willing to help you through it. And meet you halfway. If we are willing to just acknowledge him. And put him first in our lives. He will carry us through the good times. As well as the bad. Psalm 37. 3-6 through reads. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness. Delight yourself also in the Lord. And he shall give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth your righteousness as the light, and your justice as the noonday. I'm telling you guys, trust in God. You start trusting in God, he will change your life. The Hebrew word yada means to acknowledge, to show recognition, to regard, have respect, to be sure. Psalm 42, 1 and 2 reads, As the deer pants for the water brooks, so pants my soul for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? Let's learn to trust in God today and stop trusting in our own way of doing things. Because you know, when we start trusting in ourselves, when we start relying upon ourselves, 
we start thinking that we're God when we should be pointing our lives to Him. You know, I'm not very prepared for this, but I'm trying my best. You know, I have my little my little station here with my word, with my Bibles, you know, with my Bible studies. And just peace, you know, I get to sit here with God. I get to commune with God and I get to learn what he has for my life, the things that he has for my life. You know, I just want to just uh, tell Pastor David Rocha from House of Rest, thank you for helping me to, to find my freedom in, in the Lord. You know, uh, if you guys don't know, Pastor David Rocha, he has a YouTube channel as well. Please uh, look into that for some good truth in God's word. So, once again, I'm out. My name is Anthony. God bless you, and may Jesus find you. Amen.